All right, you ready to drive? You got bit by dog? Good lord. Where's the other one? I traded it. For that one? Yeah. Okay. This is a newer model. Right. It's a little different. You wanna drive? This one's kind of made for the, the turns. You've got some good turns up here. I was gonna buy, I was buying these wheels. Basically I was had the wheels in order to, to put on the black car. And I was gonna do this kind of deal to the black car. They had this car, the actual car but for sale. So I just got the actual car. 10 speed automatic. Yep. So it has cup two tires, which are the street legal kind of race tire. And then it has magnetic ride suspension. All right, get your shoes on. Do what? Get your shoes on with, with your broken hand. You remember the 15, driving the 2015? Yeah. All right, let's see if you, see if you notice any differences with this one. To get your seat adjusted, unless that's about right. Under here? Yeah. Oh, you mean it's not electric? Yeah, no, not the Recaros. Sitting in a Recaro, they don't make electric car. All right, all right. you gonna get that down? Bring that down. No, it's all right. It's all right. Br you know how to start the thing. <laughs> Press the button. That button? That one. Just one time. Just press it. Just go dink. Are you nope. <laughs> there you go. Actually, you know what? Let's go out that way. This has got, it's got so much gravel on this side. It just picks it all up. There's a piece of gravel on top of my car from these tires picking the gravel up. You got your gear, what gear it's in right there on the left. You got your speed on the right. You got your fuel economy. I'll give you your gauges. So now you got engine temperature, engine PSI. I got too much stuff here. Tra <laughs> you got your trans temp right there. <laughs> Just look at the road. <laughs> too, too many buttons and dials. Yeah. Pretty, seems pretty mellow, right? Mm -hmm. What do you think about the seat? It is. It's Feel like it supports you if you're going around a turn, you're not going anywhere. At highway speeds, tram lines real bad because those big tires, mm -hmm. it'll pull the steering, it'll just dart off to the left or right kind of. You kind of have to hold it with both hands. Do what you think about the 10 speed after you drive it for a while. It's got air conditioning. Drive it normal and then we'll go into sport. That magnetic suspension will tighten up and then the shift points change and you'll feel a little bit more responsive with the steering. We do a little off-road? No off-roading in this one. You know, not bad for a little automatic. Yeah. And so what does it weigh? Probably about 30, 850, something like that. They're heavy. You can change the exhaust from, so I set a timer. So between 3 a.m. and 8 a.m., the exhaust starts up in quiet mode. So I didn't wake up the neighbors. What do you think about that? <laughs> I think it's pretty unique. <laughs> so what does it do? Is it by bypass? Yeah, it's a valve, yeah. yeah. So you're in normal right now. See if we can't. This guy here. Yeah. He's in off road mode. You got it. He probably turned left when I go around. Yeah. I want you to jump on the interstate with it and see how it feels, too. So we got a stop sign. I'll put it in sport mode. Your dash is going to change. I'll give it a little, give, give it and hold it down a bit. Go for it. Pretty good. Yeah, it did. <laughs> Feel the way it hits second, and boom, transmission shifts. So what kind of quarter mile? Uh, about eleven ninety. One, about the fastest they were running was like one nineteen in the quarter. Not bad for a five liter, natu naturally aspirated stock car. This is 480. Here, so grab it with both hands up. 
up, yeah, about right, a little higher there. Yeah, so you're on the paddles, and then click that one down, left one down three times. One more. One more. And just kind of ease into it, then shift up. Hold it down, keep the throttle in, keep the throttle in. So the left one, is it downshift? Yeah. Down, yeah, that's it. And then now, since it's in drive, it will it will automatically shift for you now. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so it shifts up for you. But if you want to, <clears throat> it learns your driving style, and it'll kind of, when you hit the brakes, it'll downshift for you if you're going into a turn and all that. But if you want to manually, manually do it, I can put it in sport, and it's all on you. So grab the wheel, both hands, and kind of see how it feels turning. It's pretty, pretty buttoned up. I think you want track mode. This is track mode. Go ahead. What do you think about the automatic ten, like ten speed? I like it. It's good, right? Yeah. What do you think? I think I like it. Yeah. Like it in my Mustang. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. You can get one of these motors and put it in the Mustang. Yeah. And do the same right. same setup. That'd be cool. And the sixty six. Sixty six. Yeah. So what would you do? You take the 66, put one of these motors in it with a 10 speed. Probably not. Yeah, that would be cool, wouldn't it? You do it. I mean, you know, you upgrade the suspension and all that stuff. Why don't you run it down the interstate real quick and see how it feels? You can at least jump on the on ramp and kind of hit it through there. Wah, wah, wah. See how it feels kind of moving the car around at this speed. Give it a little, I mean, it feels like it's just, it feels really stable. Doesn't it? Hit, hit it again just a little bit. Hit it again. Really stable. I would hold on with both hands for whatever reason, it just, it'll grab that line and just. Yeah. It also does have a sensor which will read that yellow line and then it vibrates the steering wheel. So that's also, it's a, a lane, lane sensing thing also. Ease off the gas a little bit and then go down to four. And then now just go um, like mild acceleration and then just go click through the gears. Just go five, five and six. Keep going, accelerating. And seven and eight. And boom, boom, boom. That's what's fun for me to do. It could cause you to get a ticket if you're not careful. It could. Do you think it's more fun to drive or less fun to drive than the black car? I, I like it better. Yeah. Easier to drive, right? It's way easier. The other one was kind of work to drive that. Nobody really likes those manual transmissions in the Mustang. For It's a Chinese-made manual. It's strong, but... Yeah. Yeah. But the MT-82 is... Nobody likes it. 
Yeah, it's just a more fun. It's more fun to drive, right? It is. Yeah. I think it gets you in trouble faster. What gets you in trouble way faster? Yeah. <laughs> it's really easy to drive fast. The other one felt real floaty, kind of compared to this. You know, so that's tenth gear at sixty-five, eighteen hundred RPMs or so. The Mach 1 with the handling package has a slightly different converter than the other ones. This has a diff cooler, differential cooler. It's got a differential what? Cooler. So the diff doesn't overheat on the racetrack. And then it has a trans cooler. It still has good torque, ninth gear, 80 miles an hour, just easing into the throttle. Yeah, it's just more fun to drive every day. Just kind of get in it and go. All right, so I paid, the sticker price on my black car was 41.5, okay? The sticker price when you bought a new? In 2015, yeah. yeah. The 2015 Mustang sticker price was 41.5. All right, so this is 2021. This is a special edition with $11,000 worth of extra options. Seats, transmission, handling package the dash the sound system all that navigation and all that okay what do you think the sticker price on this one was other one was 41.5 uh, 65 yep exactly <laughs> guess how much I paid 50 70 <laughs> <laughs> Paid 38 for the black one in 15. So seven years later, it retained two thirds of its value, right? Yeah. So losing a third in seven years really isn't that bad. If you will take care of this car, keep it for a long time, it'll probably be worth a small fortune. I hope. I would like to keep it. I think, I mean, what, I don't think it needs any more power. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, what is it? What else does it need? It's got everything. Is there any other option it does not have? No, I don't know. Not that I know of. I'm gonna take those Cup Two tires off and then get the regular Michelin tires, so it doesn't just drag this gravel all up the side of it. These are made for the track, basically. I think it has everything that you can get on this one. I couldn't think of anything else that made it. Yeah. All right, where's the horn? I guess the horn. I don't know. I think so. That horn? No. No. There you go. Yeah. There it is. Sorry, this feature is not supported with loop. Thought you were trying to talk to it. You can get directions and all that and talk to it if you press the button that you did. All right. You know where you're at? You know how to get home? You're getting old. I don't know. You know where you're at? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's see if you can't bounce it in here. Slingshot it in there. Yeah. Light them up. Yeah. <laughs> those tires are only. Guess how much one of those tires is? Cup two tires. I have no idea. I think they're four fifty each. <laughs> four dollars and fifty cents. Yeah, four dollars and fifty cents each. Not yeah. Better than what I used to say. Yeah. I ain't had to turn it off. Just press the button. There you go. So what's to keep anybody from just pushing the button? Oh, you got a key in your pocket. Oh. Oh. Are you going to let Jenny drive it? Oh, uh, no. Does <laughs> <laughs> she want to? No. Okay. How many miles have you got? It's got 600 now. How many? 600. Really? 
Yeah. Yeah. Six hundred. New car, man. Put three hundred miles on it. They flipped it. They're hard to get, probably. Well, think it was a good upgrade over the black car. You drove both of them. Yeah. I might get me one. Yeah. You can get the GT five hundred. So they had the GT three fifty, and then they had the GT five hundred. The GT five hundred is this with the supercharged motor, seven sixty horse. This has four eighty. Can you even imagine? No. Then it I don't know where you could use it. You can't. You can't. You weren't even touching the handling. Yeah. Could you tell it was not even at the limit of the anything? No. Yeah. It's not. <laughs> that was, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, so the GT500, I mean, this feels like it has more than 480 horsepower, doesn't it? Okay, good. Yeah, it feels like 550 or something. It feels strong. Black one was 435, but does it? Does this feel like it only has 45 more horsepower? No. feels way more, right? Yeah. yeah. Of course, it may be transmission, too. It is, more. yeah. I, I think it really is the transmission. So it's supposed to come with this fender trim about this wide all the way around here all the way down to the bottom and that'll keep rocks from so it's supposed to come yeah they with a flare yeah with a flare so what, where is the flare i had to call ford today and ask them give them a sticker my vin number so they send that in a separate package and the dealer is supposed to install it and it never got it never got it got lost somewhere so look it's got one on the rear on this side and that's so this is the same that's on the GT500. Because this is GT500 wing, GT500 exhaust, and rear bumper. This is all GT500. So, but this, but it doesn't have one on the left side. So whoever put the car together. So the Mach 1 is like a, a mixture of all the GT500 parts and GT350 parts put all together but they kept the motor, the GT motor with the 350 intake system. So it went from 460 horse to 480 horse. It's a mixed match of a bunch of parts from all the high performance stuff, basically. Hybrid. It's a hybrid of all the high performance parts catalog, basically. Because they figured out the, the GT500 suspension and GT350 suspension, so they put it on this and kept the motor. They didn't do anything fancy with the motor. All right, you want one? I'm thinking about ordering one. Yeah. Uh, you need to. I'm going to trade my 6060 in on Yeah. It's already done for you. Yeah. You got to get the 500. Yeah. You're about 100 grand right now, though. Did you have fun? Good show. Yeah? yeah. Cool. Man. Any last words for the subscribers? Well, you just let me borrow it from time to time. You just want to borrow it? All right. Yeah. All right. You can take the Fusion. T take the Fusion. Trade for the Mach 1. Okay. Anything for the anything for the YouTube channel? Yeah, don't put me on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>